Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another collection video. Yeah, I don't have many jerseys coming or they're kind of stuck somewhere. We're still within a league uh, jersey review session. So I decided let's look at another jersey from League 1, but not from France, because it is this Monaco away jersey from 1314 that I have hanging back there. It's actually a funny story how I got this. Um, you know, there is the unpacking video, uh, probably linked up there. I hope I don't forget it. Uh, where I was about two years ago or so, I, I, I was actively looking to expand my League 1 collection because, you know, I want to have as many different teams back there and I didn't have too many League 1 teams. So, yeah, let's uh, try to look one team. Which team is really good? Yeah, Monaco. Great. And I couldn't... I couldn't really find on Wilhelm. Back then I was most looking on Wilhelm and classic football shirts and, and so on, but you know, on one side it was too expensive or not available on Wilhelm. I couldn't find it, except this is the one that I found. And I made it a whole parcel and I was always, should, should I really get an away jersey? Yeah, I should get a home jersey, blah, 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 because it's so striking. And yes, I still would like to have a really nice looking uh, home jersey for Monaco. Probably the 16, 17, 17, 18. I think those uh, were really nice. In any case, uh, I got this one. It arrived and I liked it even more in person. And you will see why in a sec. Then in the listing, and I said, this looks so familiar. And I looked up in my blog. I have this jersey. I reviewed this jersey back in the day in early 2014. It's almost nine years ago. Yes, I, I had a blog once. <laughs> now I do videos. Um, and I actually really liked it back then as well. It got a nine star, uh, no, eight star rating. So I thought this was pretty cool to have this kind of duplicity of events. There was another jersey in there that I got at the same time that I also had on my blog. So I really found this really, really interesting. Uh, in any case, this is the last Macron jersey uh, from Monaco. They have just been promoted out of Ligue 2. There was a period in the early 2010s where uh, Monaco was really in bad shape and then a Russian billionaire took over. Yeah, still there. But I would say, let's look at the details and why I love this jersey um, a little bit more up close. First off, the color combination with red and white as your main colors. I always think that black is a very natural third color because you can keep the club's crest full on and have it have everything pop because red and white contrast very well uh, with black. It is the old style crest, of course, but I actually like it. it's very beautiful. I also like, um, maybe you have to go a little bit closer, this Korean uh, style collar, really, really nice. And then we have this inset and there is red and white, which is the flag of Monaco. Monaco doesn't have a national team, as Monaco is more or less the national team. So I absolutely love this nod to the country's flag, which also goes around here. The jersey is blank on the back. Uh, you see it also here, red and white. This is actually stitched on and the uh, old Macron logos are kind of uh, put on the shoulders. And yes, this is the old Macron logo here as well. Gotta say, since we're talking Macron, it is not as stretchy uh, or as tight fitting as the new models, which uh, to me, I don't mind. I really like wearing this jersey. I don't wear it a lot, but when I wear it, it kind of feels kind of royal in a way. Um, so yeah, but the flag details is what takes us over the top. We also have it on the sleeve cuffs here. Um, and of course we have it on the sides. This especially, this especially we have here, the flag of Monaco here on, on the side. I think this is such a, such a nice touch. Then also the way this tail is made, you know, the side strap then goes back. Uh, it's really, really well crafted. Uh, to me, classic Mon Mon Monaco. Uh, it says here, Dage Monegu. Uh, that's how I pronounce it. This is supposed that the Monegasque dialect. Uh, I, have, I watched a video not too long ago that this is actually somewhat is a made up thing, but it's kind of a local dialect from the region, uh, you know, from uh, southeastern uh, France. But yeah, it's a really, really nice jersey. Uh, it also has this little tag here, ISMFC. Uh, Let's put it in the camera that someone can saw this tag there as well. And yeah, 
blank on on on, on the back i have i have to say if you go on my a blog post you see i have two lola as a player it's similar it's a white number with a red outline which also looks really really nice although it's the opposite of the now famous fedcom sponsor what's even more impressive for this jersey are the players that have been wearing this jersey uh you know when Riboliev came in of course he went on, on a spending spree and i just want to read you a few of the names i mean i already mentioned tula law which at this moment probably no one knows anymore but you may have heard of james rodriguez you may have heard of radamel falcao that the, of course that's the big one but also lucas ocampos played in this jersey fabinho eric abidal and Ricardo Cavallo. So quite uh, eclectic mix there and of course Monaco did well because I think they managed to go into the Champions League for the next season. So yeah, what do you think about this Monaco jer uh, jersey? As I said, I still would like to have a home jersey but I'm very 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 happy to have this. This one this is almost my ideal Monaco away jersey. Sadly they switched to Nike short, shortly thereafter but you know we have the glory days of Macron and Monaco right there. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!